Adebowale Sikiru, a young job seeker, was fortunate to have escaped from being killed or badly injured in the building that collapsed on Gerard Road, Ikoi, Lagos. The 21-story building carved in on Monday afternoon, killing at least 14, 10 rescued, and several people still trapped under the rubbles of the building. Adebowale had left the site barely two hours after the building carved in. An interesting angle to his story was the fact that he was rejected by the owner of the building because he's a Muslim. I'm now being joined by Adibo Ali via Zoom to share his experience with us on how he felt after being rejected, not because he was not qualified for the job, but because of the religion he practices, and how he felt after he got the news that the building collapsed barely two hours after he left the site. joining me on the show. Thank you for honoring my invite. And uh, I'm glad that you're fine. You're safe. <laughs> How are you this yeah, afternoon? Uh, well, I'm doing well. I'm fine. Oh, I'm that's good. great. Okay, so uh, what I want to find out now is at what time did you leave the construction site yesterday? I left around one o'clock in the afternoon. Wow. wow. And uh, yeah. according to reports, the incident happened just about two o'clock or two thirty. That's um, roughly an hour yeah, because, while you were there. Yeah, because I, I remember having a conversation with my friend while still on site about twelve forty-five, twelve forty-six. Wow. So and I was still there at twelve forty-six. So okay. so let's say like one one o'clock, one fifteen. Prior to that time, yeah, yeah, sure. that, that was a narrow escape. <laughs> Okay, so tell me, why, why, were, yes, you there? why um, were you there in the first place? Okay, um, I went for an interview. Okay. And I was supposed to meet, um, I think, maybe the GM of Force Call, Mr. Femi. Okay. So I was supposed to go for an interview, basically like, you know, construct a um, site engineer and all. Okay. So I think the job role, according to him, is actually beyond what I actually thought. So in my own church mind, I thought it was going to be the normal nine to five okay. over there. But you know construction, I know, of course, it's going to be Most sometimes in the night. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So but, but I, had, I had my mind made up that I'm not going to work Saturdays and Sundays because I have trainings I'm doing in my tech field. Okay. So I wouldn't want to jeopardize that for something that I'm just trying to do to keep myself busy, spending the time. I find myself in my, in my own field here. So during the interview, I told him the things I've done before and things I would like to do and all. And first of all, um, well, he chastised me by saying, um, it's by saying, um, I don't know how to put it. Okay, he asked me, what church do you attend? I said, I'm a Muslim. Hmm. And he said, ah, I can't work with the Muslim. I think that was actually what got my attention. I saw your post where you said that uh, because you were a Muslim and, and uh, you rejected like, the offer. So tell me, how did that go? And I'm like, and I think one of his friends was there too. And I felt a little bit bad. Like, hmm. this is, is, my religion doesn't have to do with what I really want to do, right? And what you can and it doesn't offer. have to do with, yeah, it doesn't have to do with my, and, and, and it doesn't have to do with um, my productivity because I know myself, I know what I can do. It's not supposed to be so. So now, now, now that's actually makes me think that, oh, there are some people that are, that are some, a lot of fun. He said, yeah, he said, I'm, I'm a pastor. I'm like, oh, Papa said, nah, far, but people that are centered around him are Christians and are very close and that's life. I'm a Muslim and all my friends, like, 95% of my friends are Christians. Hmm. Sure, you get, and, and at some point, even at, at the point in my life, I've thought of even spending the rest of my life with a Christian, even though thing you get. So it's not about religion. So we need to actually, like, we need to, we need, we need to unlearn a lot of things. And we need to change our, our orientation because religion can actually cause a lot of things. In short, it has caused a lot of things. And if we still have this kind of mindset, it's like, okay, it's said, and I quote that, Ah, in Yoruba, that she to ban lay means while we're kicking, I be to man so pray, to man so pray, praise God. What a pray, I'm doing that. You know that 
that that is that the things that I me mean, I will not be saying in his house that if I, if that because at times I don't know what's going on. Are you not supposed to just resume on site in the morning then you close the now, now 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 according to him he said that sometimes I will be at home I'll I'll be in his house that there are some times that they want to do church thing. Yeah, I'm a Muslim, but I've I've followed my friends to their church programs even when, when I was in the university. Mm. Even at my at Unilag Chapel, one moment that I like I was like literally known at Unilag because life to me life is not actually hard. Humanity above religion, right? Love above yeah. religion. That's yeah. that. And one thing is, the, the religion actually is meant to teach us how to uh, embrace and accommodate. So the thing is, I felt like okay, fine. If you want me to embrace your religion, right? You okay, fine. You give me the job, treat me right. Then I say, ah, Omo, this man is a Christian. Let me try Christianity. And it treats me like this, you know. That is how I see it. Not you, you know, like telling me that. Oh, you. Yeah, yeah. At some point, you know, and you know, life. I feel like religion should teach us patience, right? That is one thing. And as the pastor, when I told you that, okay, I've worked for a friend in the farm. That okay, I left university so time, so I've been. I'm just, I keep doing one thing or the other. You're supposed to say, oh, keep pushing, you know, patience. But instead, you you brought religion to the equation by saying that maybe because my religion, that's why I've not been able to make headway. And he said that in front of even the bricklayers, even people that, I don't it want to- It wasn't like judge, a one-on-one -on -one interview. Things. It was a general interview. Yeah, people were, yeah, people were dead. Workers were there. People were dead. Friends were there. So like, we were much, like a lot of people were there. Shake it. So at some point, I, text, I texted my friend that, if the man had, had said, okay, oh, I, 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 okay, uh, okay, I really love uh, your profile, but you know, the role I want to do, you'll be able to fit in. Don't mention that, even though you can't take me because I'm a Muslim, but you, you but you saying it to me actually makes so so I was just thinking about it. I was so I was texting my friend while I was while I was inside Uber going home. Okay. So when I got to my friend's place, I so I said to stop at my friend's place to get moral support, you know. You know, sometimes you just need people around like, oh, mm -hmm. I was down. So while I was down, a friend just reached out to me that day, I was out that where are you? I said, my, I'm at my friend's place. Ah, where did you leave the site? I said, ah, I explained the whole thing to him that, bro, ah, the thing didn't go, you know. I, mean, I was still, I was still complaining that he said, ah, that the man didn't call, the man, the man rejected me because of religion and all those things. Uh, that, but he said I should drop my number, but, but, but I'm not being pessimistic, but I, but I knew that I wasn't going to call me because there's another guy who attended with him there, you know. So, so at the end of the day, yeah, there's a possibility of the other guy getting the job. Definitely. So, so. So the, at the end of the day, I, I went there to fulfill all righteousness to the, let me just focus on my tech, just to the, sometimes distraction is not even, the, even this job my, is going to distract me from being, so I was even having a conversation. So you know, I said, hmm, Debo, do you know that, have you, have you seen the news about it, about the building? I said, what news? She gets, and the phone was on speaker. The phone was on speaker. She gets so my friend was literally listening to our conversation and she said, uh -huh. The building just collapsed. She just shouted, Yay, Jesus. When we checked Insta blog, I'm like, the same oh, more, It was away. the same, you know, the same place we were at. We had the interview, you know, there were like three the buildings. If that is she interviewed, yeah. the place we had the interview. The interview. I'm, like, I'm like, God, hmm. you know, from the entrance, that was friendly. I'm like, God. And it's really sad, like checking Instagram and seeing people's like family. Oh, and being pulled out crying. of the rubbles and all. Yeah, and you know, they never had their, they, they didn't plan their day like that. And, huh. and I believe, I don't know, I think even these Lagos building control agencies, they need to do, they need to step up their game. Yeah. It's not, you know. I'm actually still going to get to that stage because you yourself, you are a trained mm -hmm. urban and regional planner and. Uh, you know what buildings should be, you know what they should use in buildings. So um, if there's one thing this incident, like you learned from this incident, what would it be? If there's one thing you took out from what happened? Uh, yeah, I did a banana plan planning in the university and thank God I'm, I pulled out of the field because of corruption and a lot of things, politics and all. What, oh. I, I saw a lot of things during my IT day. Mm -hmm. And the truth is these people, they bribe, they bribe officials, um, lab cutters, Lagos State Building Control. They bribe, they bribe them. So once they bribe them, they continue with the, with, they continue with the job. So, 
So even right from university days, I, I knew that, yes, because even some of, why, most of all these lecturers, like, they, they don't want to leave because of, you know, and that's one of the problems we have in this country. They don't want to leave. They don't want to give the young guys that's the young staff, those, yeah, that, that knows the right thing to do. Yeah, they don't, want to give, they don't want to give them the room because of the corruption that is going there. So, so that was one of, one of the reasons why I actually transitioned into tech, that, well, I can't be struggling after 10 years you still be doing a carousel, still be carrying bag, still, you know, you know, when when you're supposed to like, you know, have a goal, a plan and all, you know. So that's one of the reasons why I just say, you know what? Um, I should yeah, anything that has to do, anything that has to do with the profession, you know. <laughs> so yesterday, even when I sent, because I took it, I took a three seconds, three to four seconds video, I sent yeah. it to my friend, my friend was like, yeah, they both she would say okay, you know, didn't see that even from the from the video they could actually say I said, yeah, that you know, sometimes I went for an interview. So I, my, my own thought was just to go there. You know, no one no one expected something like that to happen oh, yesterday, right? Yeah. So, so, oh, so at the oh, end of the day. But oh, were there chances that you would have stayed with there by that time, adding video you stayed back for the interview? Yeah, consider consider the fact that the man is someone. Who likes people to walk extra? Yeah, yeah. He loves people being around. I even saw a guy sleeping there yesterday. He told the guy to go home. The guy was with them two a.m. So the guy left because the guy was sleeping, was tired. Only God, as in maybe the guy's pray, the 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 his parents prayer over. So the guy was literally tired because they said they walked like two a.m. two a.m. So so the guy was just counterproductive at work, sleeping and also man said, "Well, I'll be going home." Wow. So, so, and I saw a young guy that was carrying this and I was thinking I was actually that young boy, the boy should be like maybe 10, you know, the guy should be like, maybe the guy should be like, maybe, should be like one 10. Of the or it was there. Yeah, one of the, one of the liberals, one, yeah, one of the liberals. Right? Every young boy, because wow. my last born is way older than the guy. And I felt like, I was just thinking about the whole thing all night. I was actually like, I felt bad for, for feeling yeah, bad again. Good. Huh. Yeah, not knowing that God has ultimate plans for everyone. So being someone who, who actually knows about building, you know about um, maybe planning and all, when you got into the site, did you feel like anything was wrong? From what I saw yesterday, mm. um, after everything that happened, I checked, yeah, I, even, I realized that Lagos State Governor actually um placed stopped work i think they they were the yeah they sealed the building yeah they sealed the building right? so and even when i saw it that me from the place where even if you check the roof i know the you know yes for the roof that is holding so 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 basically it was after everything when i checked the video that i did that i recorded ah, so i be like model a lot so like so i was literally a Oh, thank God for your life. Yeah. Okay, so before before we round up the interview, uh, a letter surfaced online of the construction or the consultants with drain service out of fallout that the vision they had before they started this thing is different from what they were doing. And uh, I also got a report from the Lagos State government saying that they actually approved 15 floors. And now that 15 floors was raised to 21 floors. So this, the question I'm going to ask now is, do you think the withdrawal was enough or they should have gone further by uh, reporting to the right agencies to call these people to order? Yeah, I think the withdrawal, the withdrawal was actually enough. And the fact that there's a plan from the plan. So Lagos State approved 15 floors, right? Yeah. So they extended it by so seven. There are six other floors. Oh, yeah. It's actually a lot. Yeah, it's cause disaster actually. So I know, I think, I think, and the truth is a lot of all these construction companies, all these developers are not, they are greedy yeah. people. Mm. They don't care about people's lives, they care about their pocket. So moving on, how do we prevent incidents like this from happening in future? How do we prevent it from happening? I think the uh, Lagos State, Gov um, Lagos State Gov governments need to scrutinize Lagos State Building Control Agency, Las Labka, and do, the, the people that are meant to be to, to be there should be there. The people that are meant to be fired should be fired because you can't keep 
jeopardizing people's lives because of your own pockets. Selfish interest. It's really, and that is what is going on in this country. Like people don't care about, they don't care about the difference. They believe that yes, my expenses, my income is X, expenses is Y. So where did get the difference between X and Y is they don't care. They don't care where they get the, the difference from. And that is why we are where we are today. Thank you so much, Mr. Adebawalesi. Do enjoy the rest of your day and stay safe. Thank you, ma'am.